Welcome to A Gallon of Questions. My name is Pat Gallon, and we are fresh off the Eagles' 34-29 win over the Packers in Brazil. I think it's the perfect Eagles victory because not only do they get the win, but everybody gets to complain about what they saw in those 60 minutes in Brazil. And now we look ahead to the Atlanta Falcons with my friend and yours from PHLY. His name is John Marks. Am I getting that right? It's PHLY. PHLY, all city network. All city. Um, yeah. I did the Congratulations. Doing it. Thank you. Thank How's it you. going? You can uh, check me out every uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. on YouTube. Search okay. PHLY Sports. So I got the can of questions, a gallon of questions, 20 are in here. We'll pull them out and see how many we can get to. I was not. You're like, excited about this? Or? Just saying. The you last worried time I was when on you the show, in. I wasn't happy with my performance on the gallon. Of really? Questions. Well, like I, so I, I've I've watched your show before, so I know it's coming. Yeah. But you don't know the actual questions that are coming. Okay. And I didn't feel like I performed well enough. Interesting. So I didn't get any complaints. If that makes you feel any better. Well, I, listen, <laughs> I hold myself to a high standard. I these are mostly know. Eagles related questions. There are a few others mixed in, but these are mostly Eagles questions. So I, I will let you do the uh, the first one there. So. Oh, right off the bat? Yeah, of course. You're All the right. guest. All right. Pick, you no, you, you read it. Oh, I have pick to read one it. and read it. Right. We're starting off terribly already. <laughs> Kellen Moore, will he be here more than one year? Yes. Yeah? Kellen Moore's not, a, not an NFL head coach. He may get a shot to be an NFL head coach, but uh, sometimes you're just – good enough to be a good coordinator. Yeah. Jim Johnson was never an NFL head coach. And he didn't need to be. Right. Right? Like the, what makes you say that though about Kellen Moore? He isn't the vibe he just a vibe you get. The fact that he hasn't gotten a job yet to me is I mean is it telling? I don't know, but like when he's interviewing he's not impressing impressing these GMs and owners enough to where he's able to get a job. Yeah. There's a big difference between being able to call plays and design an offense and things like that and actually being a leader in the locker room. Oh, I forget if I put a Fangio question here specifically, but it doesn't seem like the kind of guy who's going to be one and done and out the door because he already did the head coaching gig. It didn't work in Denver, so he'll be around. Uh, let's see what we come up with. All right. Who on the Eagles would you want to sit down with for dinner? Is there anyone? It's not the quarterback. It's who's not interesting the running back. To you. Um, see, I, I have – Great reverence for Devontae Smith. Yeah, all right. Hold and I've up. interviewed him on a couple of occasions, and he's a brutal interview. <laughs> doesn't yeah. give you doesn't a give lot. you a depth like right. long long answers. Right. Yeah, which and, he, and he's a younger player in the league or sure, whatever. Sure, but I like it. I'm gonna go with uh, Jordan Mailata. I don't know. I just think it'd be a fun fun meal. Laughing, maybe pulls out the guitar, or the ukulele. Any of the that? offensive linemen's probably better than. Yeah, I like the Devontae answer though because that is true. It's like. You don't get it from him in the media, but you might get it from him if you're sitting down together yeah. for, for a meal. I love Saban, Saban guys because yeah. they have great Saban stories. I worked with Ike for many years, and he had great oh, Saban that's stories. Right, yeah. So whenever we would bring on somebody that played for Saban, whether it was Hertz or Devontae, I always made sure I, I, I early linked up like, hey, Ike played for Nick Saban up in Michigan State. I'm yeah. sure you guys have a lot of stories, and it put them at ease. But the Saban stories are classic. That's awesome. I didn't think about that. That was early saving with Ike, too. Early saving. Yeah. yeah. Ike's like 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> best look food it. to watch, best food to watch in Eagles games. The best food to eat during an Eagles yeah. game? Yeah. That's wings. Yeah? You a wing I, guy? I am a wing guy, <laughs> and it is crazy how expensive wings have gotten. Wings have gotten. <laughs> I know. You, you go a to a wing over. shortage a couple of years ago during Dude. the Super Bowl, right? You go to a, any of your regular grills or your restaurants, you pay like 16, 17 bucks for a plate of wings, and you're not getting many more than 10 wings. I didn't realize it was that expensive. I'm not a huge, like, I don't go out and order wings because I don't like to get messy. You know, I'm I could classy. See you, I could see you not wanting to get uh, messy. That being said, I, I, would, I do love a good plate of wings, but I didn't realize it was that expensive. Good wings. I remember when I worked at a cheesesteak place, Steak and Hoagie Factory, <laughs> on Sundays, there were five cent wings on Sundays. <laughs> Yeah, man. Back in college, you get like now ten cent a, wing night. Can't now they're more than a dollar a piece. Yeah, the ten cent wing night, twenty five cent wing night. This is ah, ridiculous. It is. All right, next question. Uh, Oasis has reunited. Are you a fan of Oasis? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm going to take that as a no. What, no, that's that's not true. D during like I one of the one of the one of the terrestrial radio shows that I listened to in a different market talked a lot about this because they're former music guys. People in this country don't realize how big Oasis is in, in Great Britain. Yeah, no doubt. It's like 
it would be like Taylor Swift over here. Like yep. that's how big them getting back together and doing. It's massive. Be doing stadiums. They're going to come over here and do stadiums. Yeah, they are. Um, I'm going. By the way, did I tell you that? Well, I saw your your I'm Instagram going to or something. Are you really? I'm going to London to see them wow. at Wembley. I I entered. You could enter like the pre ticket whatever. I didn't get it, but a good friend of mine did. And he was like one of the first 3,000 people to really? get tickets to Wembley. So we're going to the first night. He got floor tickets, and we're going over there in wow, the summer. Wow, that is like crazy. Once in a lifetime. Be no, right. I, Not I, enough people know, like, oh, we know Wonderwall or whatever, but they are massive over there. <laughs> Underrated Phillies moment of the last three years so this run that they've been on what's a moment that stands out to you um that is maybe a little bit overlooked because you got your bedlam at the bank you got your Reese bat spike those are like the main moments correct me if i'm wrong but they beat the cardinals that first year and they were down in that game in the ninth mm-hmm. inning yes and i don't remember if that was the first game of the series or what but I'll, I'll never remember. We were coming on post game, yeah. and it went from I was writing I was writing the obituary for the yeah. Phillies in 2022 to, holy crap, they're going to win this game, and then they won the game, yeah, yeah. and then from there they just rolled to the World Series. I think they were down like two nothing in the ninth. I remember, was it Segura hit the was it Segura or Sosa? One of them had a huge. I hit think it was Segura. Late. I think you're right. Okay, yeah, uh, that's a great moment. Mine, I think, is a little bigger than that, but. Um, that Schwarber home run, I was reminiscing after he hit that home run, um, you know, the other night to dead center field into the bullpen, it bounces Ash out. Rinaldi, yeah. yeah. And the one he hit in San Diego, I was there for that. And I have never seen a base. It looked like Babe Ruth hitting a bit. Like if you imagine Babe Ruth hitting a baseball, cause I was sitting down the left field line at Petco. So I had a perfect angle of his swing and then the, and the launch, the, the launch of the ball. Wow. And, Un- unbelievable moment. He's unbelievable too. He really is. All right. Uh, how would you grade Jalen Hurts' performance in Week One? Um, the the interceptions are problematic, and if you go back and you look at them, that second one, AJ Brown, he slipped. AJ Brown slipped. Yeah. If you go back and you look at the like. Brian Baldinger posted the video. Do you think he gets to that ball, though? I don't. Slip? No, I, I don't well, either. Well, well, I mean, you don't make that pass. He was wide open. Right. But, the, the, you know, the defensive back was closing in on right. it. So does he break it up? Does A.J. Brown break it up, or is it a contested throw? Yeah, it's probably contested. But the play before, you almost throw a pick six. Yep. You're up five points. You you can't make that turnover there. At the very least, you're up eight, and then they have to get a touchdown and a, mm-hmm. and a, and a two-point conversion. And what worries me about it is in 2022, he did such a great job of protecting the football Mm -hmm. and not making those boneheaded throws. And then last year, that kind of all went out the window, and he made some mistakes, and he was making throws that I don't understand. And then you open up. There could have been four interceptions in that game. Um, He's so maddening, though, because you're right. There could have been four or five turnovers. And then he makes these incredible throws, incredible plays with his legs. He barrels forward for that huge first down in the fourth quarter. And you're like, (laughs) what? Where is the 2022 version? We saw way too much of the 23 version, like you said. And in the final drive where it meant the most, and they just plugged down the field, like, yeah. he was great. I mean, yeah. he had a re- he had some really, really good throws. He had the mistakes. Last year, he was fourth in the NFL in turnovers. at 15, 15 interceptions and I think six or seven fumbles. Mm-hmm. And then you have the fumbles. I don't know if that's on. I don't know who that's on. But you're going to lose games where, where yeah. if you're minus two in the turnover category. You're lose. And the defense bailed him out early in that game because you, you give them red zone opportunities early in the game. Eagles defense bailed them out by getting, by holding them the field goals. Uh, did you watch Tom Brady? And if you did your thoughts. So I didn't see the whole game, but I was at a, a birthday party. So the sound was on, but it's also a lot of people. Right. There. Right. I watched a lot of the, the clips online. I don't, I wasn't surprised. I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have uh, like, it feels like some broadcasters, it's like they knew from when they were playing that they were going to be doing this when they were done. He doesn't have instincts right now sure. to be to be doing it. So I think ultimately he's going to be fine. Yeah. 
But like the cadence needs to improve, the voice needs to improve. If he takes constructive criticism and he watches his broadcast, sure. which I think he will, yeah. I, I think he'll be okay. It's impossible and unfair to judge him based off one game. But I'm not surprised he struggled as much as he did. I almost feel like he's just too famous for that for that position. Like Greg Olson's perfect because he's like an everyman in the NFL. He, he was Guys good, like that. but he wasn't. Yeah, the wasn't best. the best. I think that's got to be tough. But he will hold himself to a really high standard. You know he's going to go back because he's crazy, and he, that's, he wants right. to win, so he's going to go back and figure out how to make it better. But one thing that, that I think a lot of people respect about Troy Aikman is he doesn't mind criticizing players or play calling or things like that. And it's not over the top, and it's not personal. Right. Brady needs to be able to do that yeah. soon. For sure. Is the tush push a problem? I, I, I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. So it is for you anyway. I don't I mean like if it if it works, I mean I guess fine. It can't be your offense. I said last year was the Eagles offense. It was the push <laughs> push. It was so pathetic. That was the only thing they could do. In short yardage situations they're going to use it, but you can already see the league's adjusted to it and it's not as easy as it once was. Do you think it was Kelsey? Like how much was Kelsey? I don't know. I mean, you even saw you even saw and they went off sides on the one, but they're just you got those players that are now shooting in there, yeah. and I just worry about Jalen taking a yeah, helmet someone's going to take a huge, like huge hit on that. I think they got to work other plays off of that more often Agreed. than they do. We're mowing through it. Yeah, we are. All right, that's Count what it's all about. I feel like I'm doing okay. Yeah, I think you're doing well. Black helmets, black we'll pants. Break it down. I thought it looked great. I did. I thought I thought it looked great first time they did it. The conspiracy theories of they couldn't wear green yeah Corinthians because of Brazil and everything else. I thought it looked great from that perspective. I thought it was cool. Yeah, that they paid homage to the you know yeah. the local team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was cool. I just think it looks too similar to Midnight Green, right? Like if you didn't know, you probably didn't. It know just that looked it like a green. Dar- a little bit right. of a darker Midnight Green than. But it was cool. Yeah, I'm just so partial to the. Kelly Greens, I wish they wore those pretty much every game. Zach Bond, best linebacker since Trotter. Man, I, I had <laughs> said, uh, and I still can't he remember his from. name, but I had said this earlier this week, the the linebacker they had during the Super Bowl year. Uh, that that was... Oh, uh, TJ. TJ Edwards? No, no the, and he assaulted the Cabana Boy or something down in... Down oh, in that Miami. year. Oh, yeah. Uh, why can't I remember his name? He was really good that year. He was a pro bowler that year. Yeah, well, why am I blanking on his name? 53. Uh, Nigel Bradham. Nigel Bradham. That's it. Maybe since Nigel Bradham. Zach Bond looked really good. Yeah. I, I was just complaining about Howie. That was a one-year, $1.6 million mm-hmm. contract. And he has, he had, he had was really an edge rusher linebacker yep. more than anything. Dude was all over the field. Yeah. Tackles for losses, sacks, pressure. He's had 15 tackles. It's only one game, but that is an impressive one game. I mean, he was that good. I don't think that I, I don't think this is a Nicholas Morrow moment. Never get three sacks in that game. Yeah, and then, he, he <laughs> and then didn't make a play the rest of the season. Yep. I hope right. not. Let's see if we can barrel through the rest here. We got a few minutes. Um, Eagles Falcons win or loss for the Eagles? It is better be. This better be a win. Now the Falcons are coming off a loss. Eagles are coming off a win. So we know a lot of times, especially in prime time games, that next game, oftentimes you see maybe a letdown. Sure. The Falcons are, are mediocre. The Eagles are a, a upper echelon team. If they have real Super Bowl aspirations, this is a double digit win. Agree. Kirk Cousins looks slow. He's coming off the Achilles injury, so I, I you should be able to get to him. If they don't, that speaks volumes as to where this defense is. And I think there's a question in here specifically about the D line. We'll see if we can get to that. Um, but I think that that'll certainly play a role. Scale of one to 10, 10 being the most. How worried are you about the Cowboys? Man, um, and I actually had, actually had uh, Jeff Cavanaugh, who's a longtime uh, media personality, Cowboys personality down in, uh, down in Dallas. I had him on this week. And just talking about, like, hey, where do you see the team being and how good is this team? And it's all going to come down to the, to the postseason. Like he had said that hurry up and get to the postseason. They, we've seen the Cowboys win 12 right, games. We've right, seen the Cowboys year. win 13 games. It's a matter of can they take that next step. Cowboys are going to be good this year. CeeDee Lamb's a top wide receiver. They have a good offensive line. Dak mm-hmm. Prescott is a good regular season quarterback. I think the difference with them is their defense has more high-end elite talent than the Eagles' defense does. Yeah, And the Eagles haven't ma- matched up well against them recently. Last two years, they split games. But if you remember, the first win they had last year, 
the Cowboys were inside like the red zone a couple times in that fourth quarter and they couldn't convert. Right. And then the second game they blew them out. So I, I at the end of the season, I think the Cowboys and the Eagles are going to be have very similar records and are going to be fighting for the division. You're right about the defense beyond CD though on that offense. I mean, who you have Rico Dowdle? You got it. Um, Jake old Ferguson Ezekiel just went down. Elliott, with a... Jake Ferguson with a knee injury. Yep. There's not a lot of depth and big time players outside of CD Lamb, so that could sink them. But the defense, I think you're definitely right about that. All right, early line for the Eagles Falcons is six and a half. What's the play? Well, it was four. So if, I, I was on the I was on the Bet Parks app looking at the before the games last week. They were only four point favorites. Is that so right? That lines went up two and a half points since the game, and as it should, Atlanta lost. The Eagles yeah. won. Yeah. I, I like the Eagles. Yeah. Um, six and a half points is a decent amount, but you're at home. It's a home opener. Coming off the Brazil trip, you yep. get the extra day with Monday night. I'll take the Eagles plus, uh, minus six and a half. There you go. If you're into that sort of thing. Uh, did you see Jason Kelsey's debut on Monday Night Countdown? Uh, I saw the video. You didn't, like, 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 sit down and watch? No, because, like, with the kids and everything yeah, else, know, it's hard for me to... Uh, uh, yeah, it just gets in the way. The kids get in the way of everything. They're, they're a real pain in my behind. <laughs> but here, here's what I'll say about Jason Kelsey. You wonder if it gets to a point where there's oversaturation of both Kelsey brothers. You can't watch a football game without seeing Kelsey in, in some commercial. Yeah. And I love him. Yeah. And he's likable and everything totally. else. But, like... We'll see. We will see. I, I saw clips. I saw a few minutes of it. He was funny. He was engaging. He's really good as at always, it. Yeah, it, it's very easy. But there is something about that that you just said that does it like, I don't know, it, it almost like some of the jokes he makes then from this point forward, he's so popular and so just so much bigger than, than life. He and his brother that like is some of the stuff feel start to feel contrived. Well, it is. Yeah. No, Which absolutely. Is, if in the beginning, though, it feels like, oh, this is new and this is fresh. I just don't, like, is it going to get stale? Right. Or like, does it even matter? Because the NFL is a juggernaut, so what does it matter I mean, he's, he's like, do I need, do I, did I care that he had a shirt off chugging a beer at a, at a game? I honestly, like, I didn't need Jason Kelsey no, chugging a beer shirtless. It's fun, but, though. Yeah, did that feel a little bit contrived? I don't know. With the Taylor Swift and the Travis stuff, I think Jason could end up being hurt by just the enormous size of Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, he'll get connected to that. Interesting. Most surprising Eagles performance in week one. Bon. Bon, yeah. Bon. Yeah, I... I How about beyond Bon? Um, I mean... I, I don't you feel surprised like, by Saquon. I don't feel like enough to it's exactly what I was going to say. I don't feel like enough people realize the type of talent Saquon Barkley yeah. is. We haven't had a, a burst at, with a back like that. Yeah. The, the talent level in Saquon and because of the injuries and being with the Giants, you don't realize how much of an elite talent he is. And you combine that with Devontae and AJ. So now what? So you can't key on Saquon because you have the wide receivers. Yep. But so then that opens it up for everybody. Yes, I, Saquon was unbelievable. God, he's unreal to watch. Those legs, man, the churning. Uh, rank the top four in the NFC. 49ers, Eagles, Lions, Cowboys. 49ers, Eagles, Lions. Yeah, I think that's probably And probably the Lions right. and the Eagles are right there. Lions are legit. Lions look legit. Yeah, 49ers, man. What a And 49ers, they, 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 Christian McCaffrey doesn't play, and they don't miss a beat. <laughs> If there was ever a game that they could possibly lose, coming off a Super Bowl loss, Jets are coming in the town. It's easy to be to think you're going to win. The Jets really have everything to prove. Yep. They got an, they annihilated, them. manhandled them. Here's the question: How worried are you about the Eagles' D line? Yeah, and and when you said it, and then you said you had a question. I'm glad you did because I do have concern, and it's really about the defensive ends. You saw no productivity no, out of the nothing. defensive ends. And this team's defense, the Eagles are at their best since the year they won the Super Bowl, 2022, getting back to the Super Bowl when they're creating pressure without blitzing. Yep. And Nolan Smith, to me, looks like a potential bust. I don't know if Bryce Huff can play or not. I He's double only digit out there sack. for, what, 30, yeah, 30 snaps well, or something? He, so he had double-digit sacks last year with the Jets. I never heard of him before the Eagles <laughs> signed him. I don't know who he is. Yeah. Like, oh, he had double-digit sacks. Big whoop. I didn't watch a lot of Jets games. So I don't know. Right. And then Brand, listen, Brandon's in his last year in the NFL. He played more snaps than anybody. Yep. So I like the interior of the defensive line, but if the if they can't get pressure from the ends, it's going to be trouble. And I am worried a little bit about 
Jordan Davis. The hope is that he really ascends this year because he's kind of just been so-so for a high pick. Last question in the can. Where should the Eagles play next internationally? Mm. It's a good question. Should they? So, well, no, they definitely should. I like the... I like the international games, and I I I had heard Roger Goodell say ahead of the Brazil game, he kind of backed off. He did a lot of talking before about how he wanted a, in a European division. Now he's talking about just more international games. Yeah. I read somewhere up to sixteen international games uh, per yeah. year, yeah. which is a lot. That's a lot. But I think it's great. I would love to go to Mexico City. That'd be cool. Um, I I just have a feeling like Australia is in the like they're gonna go. Be, well, and that's the that's the Eagles. Team yeah, it's too the stomping grounds. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be a lot. I mean, how do you give them a buy right at like you it's have a, to give like a, a buy on both ends of it, right? It's a long flight. It's I don't long flight. like. It's also about also going with the Eagles fans. Mexico City, I don't know if it's a good spot for Eagles fans. Australia, I think would be a like would be a really good spot. It's got to be somewhere fans. raucous, right? Yeah, I think you, Spain, somewhere like good soccer. Yes. good soccer people. Yes, uh, John, this was fun. How would you grade your performance? Better than the last time? Man, I'm gonna it have was to, a long time ago that you were here. I'm going to have to watch it. Seven, eight it months ago? Been. Yeah. It has been. Thanks for asking me back. Of course. Uh, I, I mean, I, I would say that I performed pretty well. I would You're say so. Giving me Eagles questions, which are very easy to answer, especially this time of year. I think I thought I nailed the Oasis question. Too, I think so you did, too. And I, so. I think next time that can's going to be with much harder questions. <laughs> John Marks, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you got it. it man. Thank you.